goes. Message returns from empty horizon as echo. Aati hai shun chitij se Kyun laut prati dhvani meri Aati hai shun chitij se क्यों लौट प्रतिध्वनि मेरी टकराती बिल खाती सी पगली सी देती फेरी आती है शून्य चित जिसे क्यों लौट प्रतिध्वनि मेरी ईच टाइम आई ओवरफ्लो द साउंड स्ट्राइक्स द एम्प्टी होराइजन and then returns as the message for you to linger in the airs as the dissolving notes of an enchanting melody such is the way of the existence this is the way each message happens zen masters are unique the way they teach intricate matters to the disciples for that the disciple need to be unique as well and working on such a disciple is a great joy for the master in guiding such a disciple the master feels fulfilled one day master came and bozuku was feeling absolutely silent as far as mind can go there was no noise within and no thought the mind was absolutely transparent no barrier was felt he was filled with a subtle deep happiness joy was bubbling all over he was in ecstasy such is the situation with some of the seekers at times thus bozuku thought now my master will not laugh now the ma- moment has come and he is going to tell me now bozuku you have become enlightened that day too the master came as usual he came with a brick in his hand and he started rubbing the brick on the rock on which bozuku was sitting for meditation he was so silent and the rubbing of the brick created noise he became annoyed at last he could not tolerate it any more so he opened his eyes and asked the master what are you doing the master said i am trying to make this brick a mirror and by co- continuously rubbing it i hope that some day this brick will become a mirror bozuku said you are behaving stupidly this brick is not going to become a mirror no matter how much you rub it it is not going to become a mirror the master laughed again and said then what are you doing the mind can never become enlightened and you go on rubbing and rubbing it you are polishing it and you are feeling so good that when i laugh you feel annoyed and suddenly as the master threw his brick Bokuzu became aware when the master threw the brick suddenly he felt that the master was right and the mind broke then from that day on there was no mind and no meditation he became enlightened meditation is the medicine for the disease that mind is when you the disease is over all the symptoms are no more there do you want to carry the prescription and empty bottles of the medicine no that is not wise but you still like to carry the meditation the master said to him now you can move anywhere go and teach others also first teach them meditation and then teach them non meditation 
first teach them how to make the mind clear because only a clear mind can understand that now even the clear mind is a barrier only a deep only a deeply meditative mind can understand that now even meditation has to be through you cannot understand it right now krishna murti goes on saying that there is no need for any meditation and he is right but he is talking to wrong persons he is right certainly here is no need for any meditation but he is wrong because of to whom he is saying this i cannot say this that meditation is no more needed to each and every one there may be and there is one or two to whom i can say now abandon meditation as well now be spontaneous natural and let life be a play of energy from within then how can they understand that there is no need for any meditation this is going to be harmful for them because they will cling to the idea they will feel that this idea is very good there is no need of meditation so we are already enlightened only to a selected person the master chooses to tell certain things that now you have to abandon this listening to krishna murti many feel that now there is no need of meditation and that those who are meditating are foolish it is not so when a person is sick he need to take the medicine this is the wisdom and also it is wise when the mid, the sickness is no more the disease has gone then throwing away the prescriptions the empty bottles too is wisdom they may waste their whole life because of this thought and this thought is right there comes a point when meditation has to be thrown but wait for this moment to come let the master tell you that you cannot throw something which you do not have krishna murti says no need of meditation so do not meditate but you have never meditated you have never attained to meditative state how can you say do not meditate a rich man can renounce his riches not a poor man to renounce you need something to renounce in the first place you want to renounce meditation but you know not the abc of meditation if you meditate you can renounce it one day if meditation has happened you can renounce it one day but that is the last renunciation and that is the greatest just like the last renunciation of the master the sheik wealth can be renounced it is easy family can be renounced it is so difficult it is not so difficult the whole world can be renounced because everything is outer and outer and outer the last thing is meditation the innermost wealth and when you renounce it you have renounced yourself then no self remains and not even and not even the meditating self the greatest meditator even that image is broken you have fallen into nothingness you have fallen into nothingness only in this nothingness the discontinuity happens as prelude to the old has disappeared and the new has happened you have become through the meditation not otherwise whatsoever is felt is felt through meditation so do not think that 
it is enlightenment. These are just glimpses of lessening disease, of disappearing disease that mind is. You feel good. The disease is less. The suffering is less. So you feel relatively healthy and you cling to the medicine. You feel that by taking more and more doses of it, you can feel better each moment. Meditation is such a medicine for the disease that your mind is. Real health is not yet there, but you are more healthy than before. And it is good to be more healthy than before. And then when health reaches its pinnacle, you realize yourself, now it is the time that I have to stop all the medicines. This feeling comes from within, that I do not need the medicine anymore. The disease is no more. The symptoms have gone. Many times this happens to you. You say, that this treatment is to be taken for three days and three days after that the symptoms are over and you are you are no more carrying that symptom so do you carry the medicine try to continue the medicine again no you stop using it because the antibiotics and things like these they are to be used for a certain period of time so certain meditation techniques are like antibiotics. You use for seven days or certain time until the symptoms are no more. Then you have to abandon this. A feeling can come from within or master can inform, let you know that now you have to abandon that also. Enough for now. Thank you.